In this week's episode of Working With Productivity, Chuck Tomasi is back. Thank you, Carl. It's an honor once again to be here. My name is Chuck Tomasi from Phoenix, Arizona. You can find my contact information at the end of this video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to get a Todoist task automatically created when Carl or any of your other favorite people post a video on YouTube. Hello and welcome to episode 15 of my Working With Productivity and in this week's episode Chuck is back to give you yet another tip on being able to be notified when a new video that you're watching from one of your subscriptions in YouTube uh, comes available. So Chuck has already given some kind of uh, introduction to this so I don't really need to say much else except for thank you very much Chuck for all these wonderful tutorials. This is the second part of a two-part video series that Chuck has done for us. I really do appreciate the work he's put in for this. This is such a help for all of you guys out there and for any of your YouTube subscriptions that you particularly want to be notified as soon as a video becomes available then this uh, little trick using if this then that which I've mentioned many times in my video series will really be a big help to you guys out there. So without any further ado let me hand you over to Chuck who's going to take you through the tutorial so you can set this up for yourself. So over to you Chuck. In my other video I showed you how to import a YouTube playlist into Todoist and use it as a checklist to get caught up on the content you may have missed in the past. In this one I'm going to help you stay on top of new YouTube content as it's created. You see one of the things I like to do at home and at work is to make technology automate as much of my life as possible. This includes being notified when something like Carl creating a new YouTube video gets posted. Of course, I get a notification on my mobile phone and some of the other devices when he puts something on YouTube on his channel because I'm subscribed. But I wanted to take that a step further and create a task in Todoist so I can keep track of what I've watched and what I haven't. Because let's face it, when I see that email, it sits in the inbox, my GTD says, what is it? What am I going to do with it? And then, of course, other priorities come up and it gets forgotten. So I want to make sure I don't forget it, that it's in a Todoist list. It's captured. It's categorized. It's processed just the way it is. All right. I use IFTTT, a free web service that stands for If This Then That. Now, I know Carl has mentioned IFTTT several times in his episodes, so it shouldn't be any new information to anyone. It allows you to take an action based on a trigger. All I did was create a new applet that watches for a new Carl Pauline video on YouTube, then creates a task in my Todoist inbox. Anyone can do this. The service is free. You just sign up at ifttt.com. I start by going to the upper right corner where it says new applet. And then it's very clear. If this, then that. So I click this and it says, what do you want to trigger? Well, I'm going to look for YouTube. And because I've already logged into YouTube, it already knows who I am, all about my account, my playlist, channel subscription, all that good stuff. If you don't, it's going to come up with an authentication and say, I have TTT, would like to work with YouTube. Grant access to the account that you use on YouTube and you'll be at this screen. So I am going to, I've got a way to create a trigger. Somebody likes one of my videos. If a new public video is uploaded by me or a new public video is uploaded from one of my subscriptions, that's the one I want right there on the right. So I take a look at this and says, yep, who do you want to, sub which subscription do you want to use? There's Carl right at the top and that's the trigger. So when Carl publishes a new video, this applet is going to trigger. Then it comes back and says, well, if YouTube, then what? Then I say, let's go to Todoist. And it says, create a task. It's pretty straightforward at this point. Very, very easy. Now, I want to create a new task in my inbox, or I could put it anywhere else in my project list. 
And I like to just put it in my inbox just to say, have I seen this one before? You can do whatever you want, wherever you want in your, in your Todoist. Now, what the task content is going to say is, new video by Carl Pauline. Here's the title and here's the URL. I want it to be a little smarter. And you can rearrange these. As soon as you click on them, notice you start getting this double curly brace notation. I am going to take out, hmm, I know it's by Carl because it's going to be his. And then let's take the URL and put it first. Because if you remember in your text parsing that we mentioned in one of the early, early videos, I can put the URL first and then in parentheses, it will say the text. That's it. Uh, then, oh, no, I still want to put my context. So let's say I'm going to watch that anywhere. You could put any other label you want in there at home, TV, mobile, whatever. And you know what? Let's make it like the other ones that I did in the other video and say watch in brackets with bold around it. That's a pretty sturdy task right there. I'm not going to worry about any of the due date or the priority. I'm just going to create an action. Pretty easy. I I don't really necessarily want notifications when this applet runs. I already get a notification when Carl posts. I just, I don't need more notifications in my life than I already have. So if you want to test this just to make sure if it ran or not, you can turn that on or off and come back to it later. I finished that up. And if I need to make changes, I can go to the gear and make those tweaks. Maybe I got a square bracket wrong or something. If I see it among my list of applets, I can do the same thing. Here it is. If a new public video from Carl Pauline. If I have other playlists, other subscribed channels that I want to monitor, I would have one of these applets per channel. So I could have one for uh, Simon's Cat. If I wanted to get a new to do his task each time Simon's Cat posted a new video. But I can click that and go in here. Very easy to uh, configure IFTTT activities. Then, as I'm looking through my inbox, there's a notification that YouTube, because I subscribe to the channel, YouTube sends out a notification that says, Carl posted a video. And of course, in Todoist, there's in my inbox, watch this video, and the title will take me right to the video, at which point I can bring it right up. Let's skip the ads and go right to Carl's smiling face. Pretty easy to do. So there you have it. How to get a new task in Todoist each time Carl puts out a new video. When he does that, all you have to do is go to Todoist and click the name of the video like I showed you and start watching. And when you're done, tick off the task. As I mentioned before, if you want to monitor some of your other favorite YouTube videos, you'll have to create a new applet for each one of those channels. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you find it useful. And if you want to find out more information about me, you can visit chucktomasi.com where you can find links to my email, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, my Amazon page, and other projects I do from home and my day job. I'd love to hear from you. And as Carl says, there's only one thing left to do at this point and wish you a very productive week. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. 